Hey guys, my name is Seniac and welcome back to another episode of Global Farmer where last episode was really interesting. We managed to buy some brand new vehicles in our farm, which we've now got over here. Look at them. We've got now three brand new tractors. We've got a bunch of new equipment, which is looking pretty good. And we bought two new fields to farm in. We've done a bunch of the contracts, which we've got to wait 115 days before they do refresh. And I've never grown so many crops as I did in the last episode. Now, in today's episode, I want to do something a little bit different. I do want to buy some new fields. We've got 3.7 million. Um, but I want to buy them for my animals because they will simultaneously kind of create goods in the background for us uh, that we can eventually go ahead and sell. Now, I know in this game, you can get three different types of animals. We currently have over here some sheep um we can also get cows and we can get chickens so i think it might be a good idea to buy these free fields here which yes they are going to be expensive but hopefully they'll pay for themselves in the long run and we'll start with animals here and then we can then eventually rotate them through the pastures and the fields because they do add nutrients and all that kind of jazz so with that, we'll also try and plant more crops to make our money back. Now, will I end up going bankrupt? I don't know. We're going to see, guys. We're going to see right now because we're not going to get huge amounts of money for the products that these animals do create. But you are enjoying the series so far, then make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new so you get notified when more episodes do come out. So I'm going to buy these free fields. So bearing in mind, I'm starting with 3.7 million. Buy you. Buy you and buy you that cost me nine hundred thousand. now each of these we're going to convert into pastures there we go there we go there we go and we don't have any animals currently on these pastures so we do have some sheep so i think i might make the middle one to be sheep uh there we go and that means our sheep are now on there i've only got six um you can you can buy more if you get more more stables but the sheep will produce wool for me now obviously they'll chomp the grass to which we don't really have any grass so i could either let it grow and they'll eat the weeds that's just pretty much what they'll do uh but i don't know whether i need to kind of grow my own grass in that kind of regards i'm not too sure but let me kind of now get set up some more animal pastures so we'll get the chicken coop set up and the cow barn now the cow barn is pretty big so let me extend the road network first so road network i'll bring um let's see let's see let's see let's see bring you to there i'm gonna do a crossroads just here that i can utilize i'll do a crossroads at the back just there and we'll get these roads extended a little bit more. There we go. Bringing it down this way. And then, obviously, of course, you going this way. Right. Let's get the cow barn in, which is quite a large building. And then we'll get the chicken coop just here behind the sheep. So with that then, I can then buy a bunch of chickens, which is going to cost me uh, 300 big ones, and then combine that with the 10 cows, which cost me 17 grand. We've now got them. So I'm going to put the chickens in this field, which it looks like they already are. Are they? Let me put the cows in this one. And then the chickens have gone in that one. Perfect. So chickens eat grass uh, and they produce eggs. Sheep eat the grass and produce wool. Cows eat the grass and they produce milk. So in my marketplace, then I should slowly. There you go. Start generating eggs, milk and wool. Now that's stuff that we're going to just kind of stack in the background. And every, if, every so often we'll just kind of sell it in bulk. That's what we'll, uh, we'll pretty much do. So with them doing what they're now doing, I think we should kind of get back onto the old farming boys. I've, uh, I had 3.7 million. I've now got 2.5. I've spent 1.2 just to get animals in three new fields. So are these fields all good? They seem to be okay uh, with nutrients and that kind of jazz. Let's get some stuff planted then. So 
We're going to go for big money makers because I do need to get my money back. Uh, oranges, no, nah, they're not going to be great for us at the moment. Olives, not too much. Uh, asparagus, we might go down the asparagus route again. Or the strawberries. Let's go asparagus and strawberries. So we'll plant asparagus here. Now I've since found out some stuff you can't harvest or seed uh, with a machine. You've got to do it manually. Because that's how you do it in real life. I've since found out uh, asparagus is harvested manually, which is interesting. Uh, am I assuming it's also seeded manually as well? Now, I can't get this done for some reason. We um, harvest in, uh, hire more workers. Is that what I need to do? Oh, yeah, I haven't set my workers to work here yet. But I'm going to hire an additional 10 workers in general anyway. We'll put 10 on this one uh, and 10 here. There we go, and then we can confirm that. This field, we're going to plant uh, some... We'll do strawberries in this one for a change. And we'll put our 10 workers there and there. Confirm you. And this field, should we actually plant something that we have a machine for? Lettuce did suck a lot of the nutrients out, but it was a good money maker, and it was not that crazy to kind of get done uh mechanical i can't do the seeding i need manual labor for that so i might have to stagger that to a different time of year uh, oh no we can get it done sorry i do apologize and we'll have to manually harvest it as well but it's all set up just nicely where it's all staggered so that's beautiful so now we're on the way uh, the farms are now being uh, seeded for asparagus and strawberries. We'll have a little fast forward to get them done. They're now being seeded. It's all go here, boys. It's literally all go right now. A lot of stuff is now happening for us. Fasty forwardy, boys. Fasty forwardy. The lettuce is now being sorted out as well. Right, why is the field white then for a second? That was really weird. <laughs> but now we're in grow mode, okay? Now we're in grow mode. We've got to try and maintain all the field's nutrients. So we're losing nitrogen over here. So I might throw in some nitrogen um, to increase there. Everything else is okay at the moment. So get that done. That's all good. Now, in the whole time this is happening, by the way, boys, we are currently... Um, gaining lots of stuff the grass is depleting before i have to turn it back into the fields and send them back to their uh their houses on the farm if that's what you want to call it um this month your animals consumed zero and produced uh 8140 of resources so in the marketplace yeah if i sold all the eggs i'll get 700 if i sold all the milk 18 grand and all the wool nine grand so they will slowly start getting me my money back. Now, we're going to fast forward to the next action. Right. There we go. Oh, hold on. What's happened to the animals? Have they gone back in? Have they gone back inside of their pens? They have, because it's too cold. Ah, gotcha. I was wondering them for a second. What's going on? Now, are we harvesting? We are currently harvesting the asparagus. We need some nitrogen into the field for lettuce. We've kind of, Oh, and uh, potassium as well. But we're about to harvest that stuff anyway. But I, I've got to throw it in the field no matter what. But we're harvesting now anyway, so it makes no difference for us. It is what it is. Uh, contracts wise, we've got, still got 40 days remaining. So let's fast forward now as they sort all the harvesting out. This we could do with putting in some potassium and nitrogen as well. So I might just do all the fertilizing. See how we get on with that. All right, fast forward through that. Was that enough to sort that field out? It was. Everything else looks pretty good. This one needs some potassium thrown in, then we'll fertilize it individually. And while we're waiting, we might as well get this one planted for the next crop. So we could plant stuff like ryegrass, and that will give us, I'm assuming, 
the new well, it'll give us the nutrients for the field. I haven't got to pay for it, but the crop's not that much. But I think I might plant asparagus again. It was a good crop for us. It done pretty well. I'll get ten on each one and confirm it straight off the bat. This needs the potassium thrown in. Right, is the potassium done? Yes. We'll also throw in all the nutrients. All right, there we go. And it could do with de-weeding slightly, so I might as well just quickly spray it. And that field is, is raring to go for the next seeding. So it's still too cold at the moment. We are going into December, so that's why the animals aren't really doing much at the minute or aren't out and about. Um, I could plant asparagus in this field, or we could do carrots for a change. Let's do carrots for a change. We have all the machinery for carrots as well, so I can kind of plant that, no problem. All right, there you go. The vehicle will do it itself. And then we just wait for them to now grow. So strawberries are coming in. Um, lack of sunshine is too cold is affecting them. I'll fertilize the field. Now, even though we're going to be harvesting soon anyway, it's just to add a little bit of nutrients into it. So I ain't got to do much when we have harvested them. So I haven't sold anything yet. We are still kind of uh, building up to all of our storage. We're now harvesting the strawberries. And how long have we got left for the contracts right now? 13 days. That's why I don't want to sell anything in case some of the contracts are related to it. But we could do with a bit more storage. Now, we're fastly forwarding. Contracts-wise, do I wait for the contracts before I get the additional storage? I reckon that is the answer. Right. As the contracts replenished, they have. Now... We've got onions, but we've got a carrot and a, and a lettuce one. Oh, we've got two asparagus ones from Farland. They're going to pay me nearly 100 grand in return, like 95 grand-ish. Except you. Except you. I can instantly complete those and get the payments for them. So that's a nice little 100 grand, except the carrots and lettuce one. Now, we are currently growing carrots. Okay. So we'll need the storage for them. So in the marketplace, let's now sell all of our eggs, all of our milk, all of our wool. I'll sell all of our strawberries because no, no, none of the contracts require them. There we go. And we'll sell all of our asparagus. Now, lettuce, we need 800 kilograms of it. So rather than sell all of it, I'll sell... 10,000's worth. There we go. And apparently we still do not have enough storage. Or is that a case? No, we do now. We just have to kind of wait for it to update. So everything's looking good. I'm going to... No, I won't fertilize anything just yet. We'll leave it as it is. We've got to sort this field out. So we'll fertilize it one more time. And that completed that contract. Now remember, I started with 3.7, went down to 2.5. I'm now at 2.8 million in the bank. So we are getting somewhere. So we're going to quickly spray it with the weeds. There we go. And now that's done, what was the other contract that we could maybe sort out? Onions. So if I grow onions here, that will sort out that contract. Onions, all machine-based stuff. That will then get done. So this is perfect, boys. This is now perfect. All right, get the onions planted. Nice. And that will complete that contract with extra payments coming in. And then we can sell all the crops. So it is getting a bit weedy. We'll spray it. This one's not so weedy. We're all okay on there anyway. Get it all finished. And we're now waiting. What's going to be first to harvested then? It will be the asparagus. Which I believe they're harvesting already. But I can't do anything until I've got the carrots for that contract. Um, so let's sort out the nitrogen. There we go. Get that done. We'll sort out the phosphorus. 
and the potassium. I don't think I need to do the phosphorus, did I? I just realized. Well, so the potassium, we'll also irrigate it real quick. Because there's a lot been taken out of that field in the last two harvests. So I've got to get back on top of things now, haven't I? So I won't, I'm not going to have any more contracts after this. So now I'm back to pretty much being able to plant what I want. So let's accept that last contract. Okay. And so it's just there so we, we can kind of confirm it when it's all done and dusted. Uh, we need onions for that, which we grow in there. Carrots, we grow in there. So this field right now, we can go back to pretty much planting whatever we want. Oh, a potato harvest. Or oh, apples. 210 grand for apples? Let's do apples. Now, we're going to have to manually do this because I don't have the equipment. Oh, have I lost an employee? I think someone's left on me. I don't have the equipment to manually do this. But that's... Uh, sorry, mechanically do it, sorry. But that's fine. Because the amount of employees that I do have, I'm not losing that many days. Wow, I'm going to get a lot of money for apples, aren't I? I really am. Planting those apple trees in. That's glorious. That will be glorious. Alright, we've got the apple trees growing. Onions growing. The carrot's not that far off from now being harvested. And the animals should be back out at some point as well. Back in the fields. So we're now harvesting the carrots, which means I can now complete that contract. Which, there we go, grab the payment. Let's sort this field out then. So we're going to throw in the potassium. All right, get you sorted. Then we'll add the fertilizer, which we should then do all three. There we go. And let's plant you. So do I plant some apples as well? Is it, is it again, good enough for us? I mean, you get loads of money. But I won't say it's the best type of crop yet. But again, you get loads of money. We could plant summer wheat. We could do oranges. No, I think we'll go apples as well. There we go. Sort out the workers. Oh no, one didn't leave on us. I think one was unavailable. Uh, confirm all of that. Apples, boys. This is we're doing fruit for a change. Unless you class tomatoes as a fruit, we have planted uh, tomatoes before in the past, and technically tomatoes are a fruit. So there is that. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> right, apples growing there. So apparently it's still too cold for the animals yet. But I'm hoping we're going to come out of this cold weather shortly anyway. We'll fast forward to the next action. Oh, there we go. The animals are now back out. So they should, in reality, then, be generating me, yes, all of their produce as well. So we're waiting for the next action, then, which would be to harvest all of our onions. There we go. So we can now complete that contract. Get our little payment. So we've just got a, a steam achievement as well for doing 10 contracts, which now means I can put the potassium in this field. Put all the nutrients in. Then we're going to herbicide it. And then that field is pretty much good to go. So let me plant something in this straight away. Which we could do apples as well. We're having a little apple season, aren't we, boys? Which is pretty good. All right, 10. And 10 there. I can go for more, but, you know, it's, it ain't going to make that much of a difference. All right, get that all sorted. Get that all planted. Get the apples grown. Very good, very good, very good. And then everything that we now have within our marketplace here, we can now actually sell. So sell, sell, sell. Asparagus, nice chunk of cash. Carrots, nice chunk of cash. The lettuce, nice. And the remainder of the onions, bam. 3.1 million in the bank. Damn. We are getting closer to that 3.7 million that I originally had. Now, obviously, once we got a bit more cash and we're back to where we started, we can then start thinking about buying more fields. Uh, hopefully getting bigger fields as well, which will be interesting. Some bigger fields down here. 
Uh, that's a big field as well. And then starting to plant all different kinds of things with better and bigger vehicles at the same time. Right, so this is not uh, more than halfway right now for the Apple stuff. So that's great. Uh, building wise, is there anything different? We haven't really done any grain related stuff, which is what we need to work towards at some point. But to do that, we will need all the combine harvesters and stuff like that. Because that would be able to harvest all the wheat. So that'll be a route we'll have to go down at some point in the future. Now, we haven't really had to do much maintenance of the apples. But I can see they have depleted a lot of the nutrients out of the soil. So we're harvesting apples now. There we go, a bit of manual labor. You can see the difference in it. Which we'll then add in the uh, potassium. We'll also de-weed it, add it, irrigate it, add in some nitrogen. So you've got a lot of actions there now stacked. Which we'll get through it all. Looks like it needs a little bit more potassium. We're now harvesting the other field as we speak. So while that's now done, because we got the trees out, I'm assuming we could grow apples again. So get everybody thrown in again. And confirm that. It shouldn't be, shouldn't it be, oh, okay, it gets rid of all the trees. Fair enough. <laughs> I would have thought it would have used the trees again, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, over here, we've got to do uh, potassium again, de-weed it, we'll do nitrogen, and then we'll irrigate it. So, a lot of actions thrown in there. So, let's try and get through a lot of these jobs again. Is that now all done on that? Yes. And then plant again. I could, again, like I said, go for the apples again. We might as well. We might as well take advantage of all these apples. Confirm all those. And... Right. Wait for that to be complete. Wait for that last field. Oh, hold on. If I say wait for that last field to be done, but I'm going to have to sell the apples now. So I don't have the storage without getting more storage. So all those apples, 343,000. That's glorious. Sell the rest of the other stuff as well. And that then should give us the storage needed to harvest the rest of those apples. We're going to quickly sort out this field. So potassium, weed it. Um, nitrogen, irrigate it. And that will sort that field then out. So, fasty forward of all of that. A lot of work thrown in there. A lot of work thrown in there. Uh, marketplace, sell this stuff then. All these apples. I'm back to where I started again, boys. 3.7 million. So back to where we started. Same amount of money. But this time we've got cows. We've got chickens. And we've got three additional v uh, fields. So next episode then, boys. We're going to look to buy some bigger fields. Bigger fields, which will require bigger vehicles. And then maybe we can go down the grain route farming. Who knows? There's... Lots of ways we can kind of still look at it and go about doing it, but buying a combine would be a pretty good idea. But this is starting to get a little bit complex right now, boys. A lot of stuff is now kind of coming into play. But boy, oh boy, are we making some serious cash money, Moolah. Guys, until next time, I will see you all soon. So, goodbye.